click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number 5 which is based on a residue theorem. We are going to find out inverse Z transform signal but using a residue theorem. So first of all we will see the question and then we will move on to solution. Now a problem number 5. Find inverse Z transform of function and the x of z is z square in denominator we have z minus 0.5 and z minus 1 the whole square now here we can mention using a residue theorem now we'll move on to solution basically in the solution or while solving a residue theorem or numerical based on residue theorem we will always do one task we will always multiply both the sides by z to the power n minus 1 so first of all i'll do that So what you will get? Now, look at here on the right hand side numerator. Here we have z to the power 2 which is multiplied with z to the power n minus 1. Now, if the bases are same or if the base is same, then orders always get or the powers always get added. So n minus 1 plus 2, what will be the result? Of course, the answer is n plus 1. Now, this question is related to simple pole, multiple pole and repeated pole values. Basically, in inverse Z transform, we can solve these repeated pole values in two ways. First of all, by using partial fraction and in that partial fraction also we have used uh, two different methods. First of all, the first one is we have differentiated this 1 upon Z minus 1 the whole square and the second method was we have substituted Z equals to 0 and z equals to 1. Now, but in residue theorem, we are going to only differentiate this function with respect to z because we have a double pole or you can say the two poles on the same location. Now, first of all, we will solve z minus 0.5 or you can say we will solve a residue for z equals to minus 5 or 0.5 and then we will move on to z minus 1 the whole square. Now, we are, we are going to calculate residue of x of z, z to the power n minus 1, but at z equals to 0.5. So, simply do one thing, multiply z minus 0.5 with x of z into z to the power n minus 1. And then, after sub multiplying, just substitute z equals to 0.5 in that result. Now, we are going to find out a residue for z minus 1 the whole square or you can say at z equals to 1 of x of z into z raised to minus 1. But here we have a repeated pole that's why we are going to differentiate this function with respect to z. So, first of all, what we are going to do? We are going to multiply z minus 1 whole square with a residue or we can say with x of z into z to the power n minus 1 and then we will differentiate that function and after completing differentiation, we will substitute z equals to 1 in that function. Now look at it, this z minus 1 the whole square and this z minus 1 the whole square will get cancelled. Now what is remaining z to the power n plus 1 and z minus 0.5. Now here we will differentiate this for whole numerator and denominator with respect to z. Now we have studied that u by v differentiation rule. Now in that what we use v derivative of u minus u derivative of v by v square. So I am going to use the same formula. So this is my v and numerator is my u. So first of all 
u is differentiated while v is considered as constant so i'm going to write v as it is and then this z to the power n minus 1 gets differentiated so what you have x differentiation of x or x raised to n is x raised to n minus 1 and that whole multiplied with the n so first of all i have multiplied this n or you can say i have written n plus 1 first and then i'm going to decrease this order by 1 so what you will get z to the power n plus 1 minus 1 answer is z to the power n only and now i'll consider this u as a constant and then i'll differentiate this denominator what you will get differentiation of z is 1 but differentiation of 0 0.5 is 0 so you have only 1 and denominator we have the v square that's why i've written z minus 0 0.5 the whole square and now you can substitute z equals to 1 in this equation So now, this is our result. And now, I'm going to substitute z equals to 1 in this equation. Now, what do we get? 1 minus 0 0.5 is always 0 0.5. We can split this value. 1 raised to n plus 1. 1 raised to n, we can write, multiply with 1 raised to 1. And 1 raised to 1 is always 1. And in denominator, 1 minus 0 0.5 is always 0 0.5. And we have 0 0.5 the whole square. Now, we can take 1 raised to n common. So, what you will get? Inside this bracket, what we have? 0 0.5. I'll multiply 0 0.5 inside this n bracket, that is n plus 1 with. So 0 0.5 into n is 0 0.5 n plus a 0 0.5. And here only 1 is remaining, that is minus 1. And in denominator, we have 0 0.5 square. Now, 0 0.5 minus 1, answer is minus of 0 0.5. Now look at here, if I take 1.5 common, then from denominator 1.5 get cancelled. So what is remaining? n minus 1 is in numerator and in denominator we have only single 0.5 and that will be multiplied with 1 raised to n. Now look at here, 1 upon 0.5 is always 2. So you can write 2 into n minus 1 into 1 raised to n. And this is nothing but the answer of a residue at z equals to 1. Now, to get the x of n, we will add both this residue. Now, look at it. What I have done? I have added a residue of both the poles. That is residue of x of z is z to the power minus 1 but at z equals to 0.5 and similarly at z equals to 1. And after that I have substituted the value that is for z equals to 0.5 I have got this result and for z equals to 1 I have got the result. And this is after adding this is nothing but the residue of or you can say the inverse z transform of x of z by using a residue theorem. So, this is all about a residue theorem. What you have to do only first of all multiply both the sides by z to the power n minus 1 and then just simply multiply the required pole value. That is which value or we are going to calculate residue only for which cal value that you have to multiply with the whole residue value. So, this is our result. Now, you will get the idea or you can say you understood the concept of how to use a residue theorem. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.